statement of fire claim is value of stock on date of fire, that is 11,400. This 11,400 is taken here. This 11,400 is taken here. Less stock saved. Stock saved is given in the problem as 5,600. 5,600 is the all the stocks were destroyed except to the extent of 5,600. That means that's, that's the stock saved. So less salvage. 5,600. If you deduct that, we are going to get 11,400 minus 5,600 will give 5,800. This is the amount of claim, insurance claim. Insurance claim is equal to 5,000 800. This is the amount of insurance claim. With this, you would have got 8 marks. Let me again highlight this and let us celebrate this victory of getting 8 marks. So let us run through this quickly. The problem says, the problem says fire occurred on so and so date in the premise of Anju and there's a loss of stock. The opening stock was 10,600, purchase 60,800. All these things are just put in the memorandum format. It's just filling up these details, fill up the blanks. Just this name of the person is different and the period is given in sum. And this part, as I had discussed earlier, is all fixed. This is fixed. The particulars columns are all fixed. All that you'll be doing is the amount column. Which amount you'll be taking is based on the sum given here. You're going to just copy the appropriate amounts. And the balancing figure is closing stock. GP is arrived at based on GP ratio, which we did here. Based on GP ratio, we have done this. We have got 16,000. We have copied the 16,000 here. Closing stock is the balancing figure. This figure is taken here as the value of stock on date of fire. Less salvage, which is given in the problem, is 5,600 saved. So less sal salvage of 5,600. So insurance claim is the loss. Actual loss is 5,800. That's the insurance claim. Nowhere he said the policy amount. Nowhere he says about the average clause. So and nowhere he talks about the policy amount in the sum. So policy amount is silent. If policy amount is not given in the sum, we had a rule. The rule says like this. This is in page number five. Page number five, ascertainment of loss sheet, ascertainment of claim, coming to the bottom portion. If policy amount is not given in the sum, it's not given in the problem, insurance claim is actual loss. Here. In our case, this is the actual loss. This is the insurance claim. Actual loss is equal to insurance claim because nothing is mentioned in the problem about the policy amount. The problem is totally silent about policy amount. The problem is also silent about average clause. So this is the insurance claim. With this, we'll move on to the fourth sum, sum number four. This question has been asked in June 2010. Question number four, page number three. A fire occurred on 31st March 2004 in the premises of a firm and stocks were destroyed with the exception of value of 1,24,080. Moment you see with the exception of, that means there's some stock saved, exception of stock being saved, exception of stocks being lost, that is partial loss. When you come to partial loss, that means again you are going to eliminate this possibility of entire loss of stocks. So you will have to apply this format and let it go down here to check which of them apply. So you are in the partial 
loss stock state. Moment you see this, you come to that idea that it's partial loss. A fire occurred on 31st March 2004. The premises of firm and stock were destroyed with the exception of value of 1,24,080. Following particulars are available from the books of accounts of the firm. Stock or as on 31st December 2003, 1,80,000. Purchases to the date of fire, 7,80,000. Sales to the date of fire, 5,40,000. Carriage inwards, 24,000. Commission paid on purchases on commission paid on purchases to purchase manager 2%. Rate of gross profit on cost 50%. You are required to calculate A total loss of stock, B amount of claim to be lodged with insurance company. Let's start working this out. Here again the com the problem nowhere talks about the policy amount. It doesn't say anything about the policy amount. It is not given the policy amount. Average clause is not given. So again, we'll have to go back to our rule. If policy amount is not given the problem, insurance claim is equal to actual loss. So all that we'll have to do is find out the actual loss and that itself will be the amount of claim to be lodged the company. So answer to A and B will be the same. But anyway, we'll do it methodically and we'll apply this. Total loss of stock is the first thing we'll have to find out. Let us find out the first one. So let us prepare memorandum trading account in that template, in that format. Let us start with the ruling. And again, we'll have to have some working note. So let us start with the ruling for memorandum trading account of the firm. Memorandum trading account. The name of the firm is not given. Memorandum trading account of a firm. So, and stocks were destroyed. This is for a period. The beginning stock should, the commencing of the financial year is 1 4, the very next day of this, 1st January 2004. Memorandum trading account of a firm for the period ending. Here again, I'm straight away skipping the trading account part because rate of GP is given. Hence, trading account need not be done. But rate of GP is on cost. Again, we'll have to take that help of a particular formula. Memorandum trading account of firm for the period ending. For the period, the first day. This is the financial year, previous year financial year ending. We should go to the next day of this. That is 1st January 2004. For the period from 1st January 2004 to date of fire. Date of fire is given the problem is fire account 31st March 2004 to 31st March 2004. So this is the heading. For this heading, you'll get one mark. <coughs> so let me do up the ruling. I'm just putting the amount column and as usual let us try to take approximately average half of this 